All right. Let me tell you how to turn your Canon DSLR or mirrorless camera into a super nice webcam. The first thing you want to do is go to the Canon website to get the better software downloaded to your system. Now, this is currently available for Windows only. And all you need to do is connect your camera, that's your DSLR or mirrorless camera, to your laptop through a USB cable. It can be USB B or USB C or USB 3.0 or USB 0. So you select your model of camera. For this purpose, I'll be using the Rebel T6i. That is the EOS 1300D. Uh, so what happens is uh, it takes you to the software section where you download the EOS webcam utility 0.90 beta. It's still a beta now, so of course there will be bugs, it will be laggy and all that. But uh, we open uh, very soon, you'll actually be able to get the full version uh, where it's working properly. So this is the setup downloaded to my system. I'll go ahead and open that. So what I need to do is extract this. I'll go ahead and extract. And then I should go ahead to open the installer. Because I currently have it installed on my system, it's asking me to either repair or remove it. But I'll just go ahead and cancel the installation because I currently have it. So what you want to do in your case is go ahead and complete that. And this is all you basically need to do to get started to using this software. What you want to do next from here is to just open up whatever conferencing software or streaming software you actually use on your device. So what I'll do now is I'll open up Zoom. And inside Zoom, I'll go ahead to the settings area and set my output now from my default webcam that I've been using. That's my Logitech C920 webcam into my Canon DSLR that is now serving as a webcam. I'll go to the video section. Oh, it's actually now in the US webcam series software. So this will be the name that the camera will actually output for you. And you can see it's getting my audio pretty much clear. Even though it's at 720p, it's still very much clearer. And I think I prefer it to the output of my C920, which is 1080p. Uh, but, uh, you know, I just have my preferences. You can uh, go for any preference you want uh, in that case. So currently it's outputting 720p, uh, which is not that bad. Of course, for what it does, I can do a lot of zoom around it and still get all the pretty little videos I need to get. So this is how I make that change. I select the EOS webcam utility data software, and then it changes into my DSLR as my input. So that is how I would use it in Zoom. All right, so next thing I wanna do is show you how to use it in my other software that I actually use. So I think I should open up Skype. So this is Skype right here for me. I'll go ahead to settings. And then I will go to the audio and video section. And then I will select the webcam option. So currently it's not available in Skype for some reasons. So uh, you might, might want to check back uh, later on for that. So let me close Skype. But actually, I'm able to use it in Microsoft Teams. As you can see, this is my Microsoft Teams calendar. So what I'll do is I'll go to settings. And then I'll go to the devices area. And then I will change the default webcam from my C920 to the EOS virtual, uh, sorry, not Sparkle Cam, the EOS utility beta software. And then I get my output straight out, neat, pretty neat, and OK. And that is how I would use it in my conferencing software. So let me change this back to C920 because uh, I will need to connect this to power. All right, so that's how I use it there. So let me actually show you how I also use this in my streaming software. So primarily, I use the Open Broadcaster Studio software for making my streams, even though, yes, I also use Streamlabs OBS, but I'll be showing you this demo using Open Broadcaster Studio. So right here, I've actually pre-configured all the settings. So this is my default streaming uh, configuration that you see right here in studio mode, all things equal. You can see my stream starting something with the timer and everything. And this is the part where I actually get to show uh, my video. Uh, so this is actually showing the output from my C920. And then let me show you what it looks like outputting from DSLR. 
So this is the output from the DSLR where you can see my house over and the one on the left hand side or right hand side as in my being your case is the output from my C920 Pro. So you can see uh, the pretty little details uh, that uh, you see there and also I can go to my camera and sort of do a zoom into my face if I like to. So you can see my mustache. A uh, pretty clear video, but of course, this is a user webcam. I cannot, there's nothing to control this zoom right here. So let me turn this back to what it's supposed to be. And let me actually show you what it looks like side by side. So let me actually go ahead and turn off studio mode here and do this side by side. So the output here is the one from the DSLR, and this one is born from the Logitech camera. You can see how they look side by side. and you can decide to go for whichever preference is yours. The purpose of this video is just show you that now you can use your Canon DSLR or mirrorless camera to actually become a webcam on your PC so you can get clearer video and clearer uh, output to your streams, your conferences software, and whatever you need to do. So this is where I go ahead to actually say thank you for watching this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, Please do well to like this video if you like it and also go ahead and subscribe so you get notifications when I post new videos. Most of the videos I post are on developer life. Uh, so I teach programming, I teach uh, DevOps, I teach Azure and all sorts of things. So you might want to subscribe to get notifications when I post new videos. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Peace out.